Hi guys, um, this lockdown is doing my head in now, um, I've just been in the house um, thinking of some ideas of what I can do in terms of videos and tackle and carp gear in general and um, I've settled on a review of some generic carp hooks so there's one particular company I like dealing with down south um, called Bank Tackle and they do a lot of um, terminal gear that's generic, if you like, so non-branded. And uh, I quite like the hooks. They're pretty good. I've been using them for a few years now. So I thought, yeah, I'll do a little video. I'll compare the bank tackle hooks to the more, let's say, established brands. So Corda. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look at that. We're going to check these hooks out and I'm going to compare the same shape with these budget hooks. So these are the bank tackle and they come in packs of 10 for around about £2.50. So let's get one of these out. Okay, so this is the, oh, don't want that one, sorry. Size six, we want to compare like for like. So same shape, same size, size eight, size four. Right, so the bank tackle, choddy hook in a size four, which is there. Let's just move that out of the way. Right, let's get the corder out. Corder choddy, size four. Okay, so there's the corder. And that one there is the bank tackle. Bank tackle, corder. Now on first appearance, there's hardly any difference with these at all. Apart from the glaring, glaringly obvious with this one, this is the corder and that's barbless. The bank tackle feels slightly thinner gauge and I do mean slightly. Um, there's hardly any difference with it at all. I'll tell you what guys, in terms of um, sharpness, I can't tell any difference, I really can't. That's a corder. That's a bank tackle. Now, I know this isn't scientific and I'm not even going to go down the road of trying to prick my finger with it or stick it in any orange peel or anything like that because we all make our own minds up about the sharpness of a hook. But after all said and done, I sharpen mine anyway. Um, and I, I'm guessing most of you do, so... The sharpness re isn't really a major issue. Yeah, okay. Ideally, as soon as they come out of the pack, you want them to be absolutely proper prickly sharp or sticky sharp or whatever the terminology is nowadays. But um, like I say, I always rub mine over anyway. But regardless of what I've just said, these are blooming sharp anyway. Um, so yeah that's it really um, what else can I say about a hook the bank tackle choddy has got a lovely outturned eye as has the corder which is this one very similar gauge I'm looking at it now 
this on here the bank tackle is slightly lighter in color you might not be able to pick that up on the camera but it it really is it's a minuscule difference there's no horrible glint to it or anything like that i really like it and i've used them for years so it's a case of you pay five pound for 10 of the quarter or two pound 50 for 10 of the bank tackle I don't know which ones I'll be using. The corder. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, the bank tackle. They're the ones I've used for years and I'll carry on using them. So yeah, guys, when I'm doing this video, it'd be nice to, um, to get your thoughts on hooks and whether, you, um, whether you've had any bad experiences of budget hooks or let's say generic hooks and if you do use the uh, bank tackle hooks can you let me know below and um, we'll try and get a discussion started but yeah that's it guys thanks for watching and uh, see you soon